Hello, hello, how's everybody doing? Red7, Victory, Jared. Uh, thank you for the good luck, and uh, Red7, thank you for the tier one for 21 months. Appreciate that. Wonder if you're gonna stream tonight? Definitely stream tonight, today's Friday. No doubt. Friday, Tyler. Record the stream all week. Let's go. It's gonna be a damn good one. First up on the docket, I want to fix this. Just a few different options. I'll see if anything works. Evening Walker. The uh, the good luck there. Didn't go too hot on Wednesday, but it do be like that sometimes. What's up, Lucky? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, I appreciate that, Tyler. I'm just a simple man who likes to go fast. You know what I'm saying? weeks that we made him uh, providing results yes I do uh, I, I love the uh, the progression for sure you can definitely tell a difference stream to stream the evolution of the run I go like that, but I just don't. I just don't trust it. But could I add? Ooh, maybe that's the visual. Way.
boxes. That's what we're comparing against, essentially, right? Let me in! Stay in the middle and then react. If I'm gonna do it this way. Oh, double. Could that? Up stage, load your own. Yeah, I just figured this out. This this might be the the play. I gotta do a few taps, but I kind of like that. I mean, I don't think it, it's not as fast as the super duper fast way, but it's. I I think this is possibly the best way to do this. So we gotta get. See, I got that's a 98, right? That's like the perfect. But obviously, it comes at the cost of like stuff like that. That kind of a mistake. <laughs> it's a rocket ash. <laughs> guys I don't I don't blame you rocket I don't blame you Three point eight, three point eight five. 
now let's try. Okay. So it is faster than the high drop. Oh, if you get the single. Ooh, I like if you get... Sorry. If you get two for one special. That was equivalent to the two-for-one special. Okay. If I'm holding down... When I bust out that second one... Oh my gosh, dude. This is... Oh, sick. That could have been it. I, I really like this. This this is the new way, my friends. Look at that. 3.3 to 3.4. Okay. And then the other... So if we do take two, 3.6 to 3... 3.65. Dude, I'm very pleased with this. Very freaking pleased. Exceeded my expectations. What is this? This is... Skill issue, double spiny? I don't know what this is. It doesn't have a double spiny pipe. So the delta here point oh five to point two. The strat. I have to update this, I guess, as well. Let's see. So the number of remove straps that I have strats that I have listed: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven, but Of them were never in the run because they were Tower of Fate rooms that don't get played. At, so two out of eleven are nothing, are don't really count. And then one, two, uh, three, four. Four out of the remaining nine are ones that were never in the run to begin with because they were even during science they were too hard to go for, such as the P speed. Um. 
one cycle hallway in Blades of Chaos to go past the blade and under the thwomp. So yeah, four out of four out of eleven are nothing. Never never in the run to begin with. Two out of eleven were um Tower of Fate rooms that we no longer play because of the manip. So that leaves five actual removals, although I think there's like two extra ones I haven't listed here in this section yet. So there's like seven strats that we, we've gotten rid of, and this will be like the eighth, roughly. Um, okay, so, and this is a very minimal delta, so that's it's really not that bad. Uh, this goes here. Normal kill issue, double spiny pipe. This was a 0 0.05 to 0 0.2 seconds time loss due to So, oh, I got put the no timing comparison. So the traditional is three point eight to three point eight five seconds. And this is optimized intended up toss with rightward momentum from the ground. <laughs> and then 3.6 to 3.65. This is um, Update one with out um, getting double kill nor instant pipe. And then this is three point three to three point four equals update one and then three point to 3.25 equals original science and that does that accurately describe four five okay it'll have to do okay so to do this uh after creating the second throw block. I would say we drop it. Looks like I drop it right. Okay, so drop the throw block when the right side of the throw block uh, just barely crosses past the left side of the spin block. Continue moving to the right briefly. Spin jump. All these time saves keeping you ahead of them. Yeah, the time saves are, are 
are crucial, man. Uh, Mark, thank you for the tier one for 29 months, by the way. Sorry if I miss any alerts. Uh, my Streamlabs is not working, so. If it's coming very soon, the record will be crushed and untouched for a while. I'm hoping, man. I'm hoping. This is one that I know that Mighty Mouse would definitely do. If he saw this, he would do it. I'm pretty sure. This, this is free. Okay. So create the second throw block. Drop the throw block. Right side of the throw block. Just barely crosses past the left side of the spin block. Can you move it to the right briefly? Spin jump. Now is it a... It's just a control spin jump. So control spin jump while picking up the throw block. Gotta come at the, the right angle. Or maybe I just, if I mash, does, does it help? Maybe, it, maybe that's better. Okay. Spin bounce off of the spinies. Min bounce. Min. Min bounce off. Min bounce plus fastball. Off of the spinies, um, while letting the throw block uh, kill one of them. Uh, keep run held while mashing. Keep run plus down held while mashing right bumper to create a throw block. As soon as possible. Uh, kill the second, the second, kill the second spiny with the uh, the new throw block. Um, while also entering the pipe. No. Nope. Uh, on the first. On the first spiny bounce, uh, you may end up killing both at once, but that seems to be what you will still get, you will still bounce off of the spinies so this ends up being just as fast as the fast secondary kill just as fast as the instant pipe after killing the the First spiny bounce. You may end up killing both at once, but you you will still bounce off of the spiny. So this ends up being just as fast as the instant pipe. If you need to kill the second spiny with an additional throw block. How's that? Oh. Sprite's misleading. Okay. 
So create the second throw block. Drop. Right side just barely crosses past. Pinch up, I'll pick up the min bounce, fast fall, while letting the throw block kill one of them. Keep run plus down held while mashing right arm to create a throw block as soon as possible and kill the second spinning with the new throw block while also entering the play. Yo, what's up, Yuri? We're, we're cooking up fast, that's what we're doing. Even treason. So, th this was my. So, this is like the normal strat, right? That's normal. This was my proposed fast, which is faster than what I was just showcasing. But you'll see it's way harder to get the, the clean drop in here, right? Then there was this that I had tried to work on as well, which is, I, I wouldn't necessarily trust this one either. Right, so the, then I was working with this and I was like, oh wait. So create it, about here, drop it, and then go inside of it, spin jump, pick it up, pray for the double kill, If you, if, uh, but it, you don't really need the double kill. The double kill's nice, but if you don't, you see I got an instant pipe there? So if you get the double kill, great, but what I'm going to do is after I kill one, I'm just going to start mashing right bumper, and I'm going to hold down. If I get a good hitbox... Like a favorable hitbox, I'll instantly enter the pipe. And if I don't, I will, you know, have to finish off that second bounce, which is not terrible. Right? Now, the timing on this is this version, the intended, optimized. That's like 3.8 to 3.85. This, the sketchy fast drop is 3.2 to 3.25. Get. Can't even freaking get it now. Okay, so that's 3.2 to 3.25. And then this... Oops. That is 3.3 to 3.4. So it only loses less than 0.2 in a worst case scenario um but it's it's pretty much just as fast so that's nice i like that okay so that's in there gill issue double spiny okay let's see what was next yeah this one this is a good one to do Tall, tall peak. cycle. I hate doing that as well. The question is... Dying like that. It's a very common spot for me to have troubles. Yeah, 
Maybe it's that I just need to do that left, right. Like, or the... I think I need to do that fireball just quicker. I think that's all it is. I think I was waiting until... Like that. That might have been a bit exaggerated, but... You get what I'm saying. Like, I think I was going to... Okay, so I, if I go really quick... Then I have a bunch of time. Interesting. Yeah, I can go as low as third row. And still have plenty of, well, yeah, I can still have plenty of time. Like that, that's too slow. it to make sure that I get it at least one facing the right direction. Kind of like that. See how one went the wrong direction. That might be a good fail safe. Let's go back to do four. Really quick on the left. Ooh, I, I feel like I like that. Ba Boom! The double shot. How do you get the on-off switch in the Gill issue regular exit? Uh, I can show you that. Yeah. Uh, Gill issue. Gill issue regular. I've got, uh, let me just do this real quick. So this one, I, when I'm, I have rightward momentum and I drop when centered under that, um, muncher. So it looks like, let me do this. So I go like that. I do have a lot of faith in this. It's like that. Then this one, I do a double. I do a left toss, like a, a left forward throw, and then I do an up toss. So when you when you get it correct, so drop that, go here, boom, boom. So you get the double, you get the single there, and then you're under. Try it up throwing for which one? Is it this first one? Is it this second slash third one, or is it this fourth one? The first one. Uh, I... I have... I didn't... See, like, I feel like when I try to do an up toss, I have to loop around to make it work. Like, it, it feels a bit clunky. Like, see, I have to do something like that. Because, like, if I if I just up-toss and try to go, I end up throwing it to the... or bonking it to the left. Like that. Is it... I have no idea. I, if you do a quick one like that, I bet it's comparable. That, that might be faster. Possible I didn't give it enough of a chance. That seems like it might be faster.
now that I'm getting the hang of it, well, I say that and I do that. That definitely feels like it could be faster. Let me check this. Hold on. Yeah, so you're doing taking it a little bit safer, I think, because you're 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 doing the up toss. Right side of throw block, left side of, of seaweed. So you're a little bit further to the right before you start going up. Not that I don't I, I don't think that would make a huge difference time wise, but it definitely feel like that would make it safer than what I'm trying. Good, that's a good option. not just neutral, I need to actually hold left. Get just a small amount of left after. Head, top of head, bottom of outline block with a successful hit. 3.22. Do it again. 3.05 to 3.1. One, one, one more, one more. Okay. So I think that's valid. Let's go with... If I use... The, yep, the seaweed with the up toss.
Okay, I would say that's just like a little bit slower, but step. But I do think that's slower. And then let's see if I can get try to get a little bit more aggressive. So you, you'd have to be very, very clean with the up toss nudge for it to equal the drop. I think the drop is like very smooth by the I I would recommend the drop. Um personally, because it's it's the fastest. And I think it's the easiest. Right, but that was close. I mean, that was that was definitely. I thought for a second that was actually going to be faster. The up toss. So when you get it clean, it does feel good. But it ends up not surprising. It ends up being like the same time. Maybe that's why it felt good. It's like, oh damn, that is fast. <laughs> uh, okay, back to, back to the thing over here. So I'm gonna stick with. Let me try. I'm pretty sure five. Oh, five could work too. It's going terror. Learning each of these stats, holy hell yeah, dude! And okay, we have uh, updates on the daily. Dude, this is a good this is a good update here for consistency. Yeah, I I exclusively go for the first cycle on the saw. But I was I was having trouble with um this dismount and because I because of the way that I was doing it, I felt like I was overly slidey and it made me like mess up on the saw a lot but with this update where i go like that with a double and this i feel like i have so much more time to manage this so four double land immediately spin four double and it's a max jump slow fall double yeah that's that's clean that that's how i'm gonna do it Okay, so this is... Before this, before this, after that, okay. goes here. Tall, tall peak. Saw unlock. Max jump plus slow fall to dismount the wall run. When Mario is centered... above. Am I going one above the platform? Like a one gap, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely, okay. So Matt, when Mario is centered in the fourth outlined block 
in the final set of outline blocks. Uh, immediately turn left while uh, so I hold jump and I swipe Also, swiping your thumb from... From Y to X to uh, shoot two fireballs. Shooting the two fireballs off. Uh, sure. Okay. Quick left, right. Trying some nasty stuff on Roperin. Roperin's got some uh, some good stuff. Oh, so cool. I uh, didn't only for the tier one for 31 months. Appreciate that. Welcome back in. What's up, Pyro? We've fixed Gill issue uh, intro room. It's really nice now. Now we're working on this. Maybe I change it to four and a half. So between four and five. Gosh, that that is way simpler. Oh, that's free. That's that's the strat that I needed. Well, I I, only, I haven't gone back to this since uh, I signed this out, right? So th I easily could have had a sub par. Um, strat here. Not necessarily, not in terms of speed, but in terms of consistency. It looks like I, you just jump, max jump off the wall with a neutral D-pad. This is much, 
much easier. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's what we're doing. Oh, is he going way too fast? Nah, nah. No such thing. So, I'm one too high. I'll try this again. So, imagine I was up a few more pixels. Centered in the fourth. So, max jump plus slow fall. Uh, so, we're going to say max jump plus slow fall with a neutral D-pad. Uh, to dismount... Yeah. Slow fall with a neutral D-pad. To dismount the wall... Maximum level with the neutral, but this is not the wall run. When Mario is centered in the fourth outline block in the final set of outline blocks, uh, shoot a fireball. Delay. Okay. Right, is there a special? Yeah, just a brief delay. Shoot a fireball. So shoot a fireball to the left while still neutraling the D-pad. And then... This is immediately max jump. So immediately max jump upon landing. And then Tap right to change, uh, to make Mario face right. Yeah, let's see. Hey, dealing with the D-pad. That's fair. Sometimes the D-pad just gets in your way. So, I don't think I'm max jumping. I think I'm control jumping with a re-grab. Okay. So, immediately control jump. So, immediately control jump plus re-grab upon landing. Hold right brief briefly to make Mario face right and to get the right angle for the fireball into the ice block. And then shoot a fireball to the right, immediately uh, switch to holding left. Just Mario's horizontal speed to be near zero by the time he lands, and then immediately 
control spin jump uh, to the right or to the saw. So Max jumps slow fall with a neutral D-pad to dismount the wall run when Mario is centered in the fourth outline. So there. Then brief delay. Shoot a fireball to the left while still neutral in the D-pad. Immediately control jump plus re-grab upon landing. And then hold right briefly to make Mario face right and get the right angle for the fireball. Shoot a fireball to the right. Immediately switch to holding left. Yeah, let's say I'm... Okay. Uh, adjust Mario's horizontal speed to be near zero by the time he lands. And then... Give me the control spin jump to the saw. That is accurate. This is good. I like what I see here. Frisky Danger and Tang. Sorry I didn't see you guys there. My bad, my bad. Hope you had a good week of work and a good luck on the practice. Oh, thanks, man. Work was, uh, was alright. I'm in a in a pretty, like, big support role right now. So it's, I get I get my normal task and then I get sidetracked by helping other people out on the team. It is what it is. Um, so I didn't make I didn't make as much progress as I would have liked, but I actually ended the week on a good note. Like I, I, I think I set myself up nicely for Monday. You can release and press Y. Oh, you're saying... Oh, but you're, you see how I got slowed down, though? Mario, Mario's slowing down if I do that, Danilo. As opposed to watch... I think. I'm pretty confident in that statement. This is good. We're done here. Okay. So that was that one. Okay. There was another thing. Tall, tall peak, normal shell jump. It was before it was this. Okay, so I don't know if Mighty Mouse still does this, but once upon a time, I saw him. Do this. Whereas I go like, uh, oh wow, this is really not a good. This saves it sucks. <laughs> For whatever reason. Okay, so that's what I normally do, is I normally do this. Whereas I saw him do that, essentially. So let me see, is this faster or am I faster? So left side of shell, left side of ground, about 2.1. That's early. Okay, 2.05 to 2.1 is my normal.
Okay. Definitely slower. So don't do that. So that's out. Do I get rid of the... I think I get rid of the, uh... The quick one cycle. Chuck gate. that that's gone. the note and it works, but like committing to that is not easy. Especially if I don't get the fast jump on the other side. I kind of like changing that double saw cue. Maybe that maybe that will make it a little bit more consistent. Quick left right wiggle. I still couldn't make it under. Okay, so that was with a triple tap. What about, uh... 
uh, what about a regular jump instead of a spin? Side. I am getting this more than Right, if this is gonna work. Thank you, Chori. Looking for a way to not cut the one the fast one cycle on the chuck gate, but I'm not sure I can keep this one. Now that I got it planned out a little bit better. Johnny Mac, thank you for the tier one for three months as well. Working on this uh, fast one cycle. So 
So that was with a, just a min. Is a min good enough? Is it just a matter of can I get up here? Maybe. Okay, if that's... I think to get that it's all for not if I don't get that fast on the other side too so if I watch Take a step. Let's take a step, and then here, bottom of saw, top of second, trans semi-transparent from the bottom is when I jump to the left. And then take like one and a half steps, maybe. And then min spin jump fast fall. like this Yeah, there are we were actually just looking at the uh, the list of those. There are 12 strats listed, two of which are not applicable because they are part of Tower of Fate that we don't do. Four of which are strats that were never in my run attempts to begin with. They were discovered during science, but they were too crazy to put in. And then the remainder are ones that I've taken out. So which are those? The P there's a of the ones that were actually in the run that I'm no longer doing. Uh the fast Yoshi. Technically two of the two of the strats are different variations of the fast Yoshi in the at the end of bubble one. Um so that's really just one strat. One obstacle. So one there. Uh There was a spring. I was doing the spring slightly faster on the double fishing boo rune of Tower of Fate. I still have a fast setup, but not not quite as fast as it once was. In the FF8 second minute, there was a strat to skip the falling thick platform on the right side and go straight to the door. Got rid of that. And then uh, ending P speed for Gate of Fire, like through the thwomp section, instead of, instead of losing P speed during the thwomps. 
No, because the the fast Yoshi, the the more manageable fast Yoshi, which was the one where you nudge the shell, you bounce off the shell, and you eat the shell at the same time. Um, that strat is just as fast. Like I optimized the intended strat with eating the mushroom, such that it is just as fast as the fast Yo the secondary fast Yoshi. So there was no need no need to go for it anymore. Okay, so saw opposites here. Double saw. I am trying to go for fast bats on the first attempt for bat. If you're talking about the fast bat shell, but I do have on second attempt a nearly as fast variation. Okay, so this looks like. jump there. Yeah, it looks like if that's that's the max jump location.
once you get that. Looks like right side. I look I think I'm looking at crossing into the Is it a minch plus regrab on this? Hold on. Ninja plus regrab. When the right side of Mario is most of the way through the Chuck's right foot, which is really his left foot. Potentially, right? that doesn't matter though. The farthest foot. Oh shit, uh, Mangor, thank you for the raid. Sorry for my lack of awareness. Uh, I sent a report, a ticket to uh, Streamlabs. I'm having difficulty, uh, like my alerts are not coming through. Wait at eight seconds, oh my gosh, I know, trash streamer by me, my apologies. But uh, hope you had a good, hope you had a good stream. What were you up to? More uh, nonsense? Um, actually, that's actually pretty good. What I had was a good cue. Maybe all I needed to change was the... A little nonsense afternoon stream. Nice. Well, we actually are... I think I'm going to start doing runs after I finish writing this down. Um, we made a few changes. I'll showcase them. We got a, a, a nice uh, update in Kill Issue. Yeah, okay, so yeah, that's a, not a good cue. <laughs> Eight seconds is roughly an eternity, I'm pretty sure. Nearing the end of the run back. Nice. Two and a half on the second play, like, damn. Yeah, looking at the Chuck's foot's better than the ground. Okay. <clears throat> so for the double saw, max jump, slow fall from the edge, grab the left wall, climb up one step, max jump, slow fall, grab the right wall, continue to climb up, max jump, slow fall, bottom of the upper saw in line with the top of the second block from the bottom. Bottom of the upper saw is inland to the top of the second block from the bottom while the saw is on the way down. 
There. And then uh, grab the left wall. Can you climb up? Match up control fall. Top of Mario in line at the bottom of the second block from the top. So right there. And then the the Chuck Gate. Perform that update. Then immediately min spin jump plus fast fall to trigger the Chuck. So immediately min spin, okay, so perform update one, should land you as far left as possible. Immediately min spin jump plus fastball to trigger the chuck. Continue running right to go under the chuck without wiggling. Uh, Continue running right to go into the chuck, no wiggle. Min jump and, and re-grab when the right side of Mario is most of the way through the chuck's right foot. So that'd be like right here. Chuck's right foot. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we've got this. So... Let's do this. So the changes from today, for those interested, here's what we're changing. So here, we're gonna jump right side of shell, just barely into the final muncher before the platform. We're gonna jump and, oops, top of Mario, Bottom of fish. Top of Mario, bottom of fish. Release re-grab. Really quickly. Okay. That's that. We'll get this song back, I guess. Um, okay. Not this. So this wasn't a change from today. This was a change from last time. Edge. Do the turn animation. When it is most of the way uh, finished with a turn, we're going to drop it. And then we're going to run right and slow fall. When... I have to get a pause to show you guys. It's going to be hard to do. Bottom of the TNT, just barely above the top of the red outline is what I'm looking for. So in all in reality, that's what it's going to look like. So we get to the edge on the left. Doesn't have to be perfect. And come to a, a near stop. And by doing that, it's going to take the correct amount of time to stall out the, uh, the green TNT to set that up. Then we're going to do the tap to the right, or the slight hold to the right. So we do need to have some amount of speed. And we don't immediately drop it. We do let the animation kind of guide us a little bit there. Then the bottom of the TNT, top of the net, is going to be the cue to start running right. So that's that. Okay, so those are those. Gill issue. This, this is the good one. Old... Oops. Old strat was this, where you jump, turn left, right, and then drop like that. That is still the fastest version, but we came up with this. Mangor, I feel like you're going to like this.
And you can see how you can get an instant pipe there. What's oh, a Bareth, by the way? Thank you for the good luck. So if, if you get the double bounce, it's slightly... Okay, tr traditional would be like this, right? This is traditional, and you follow it in. That's, that's 3.8 to 3.85 seconds to do it that way. This, my fast way, is 3.2 to 3.25. And then this new strat that I developed today... If you get that version where you kill both spinies on separate bounces like that, 3.6 seconds. 3.6 to 3.65, I think. But if you get that, if you get the instant pipe off of the second kill, it's 3.3 .3 to 3.4. Like that. So the range of it is 3.3 .3 to 3.65 technically. Um... And it is slightly slower than the, than the uh, self-drop like this. But it's way more consistent. And it's faster than traditional. So I'm really pleased with that update. Uh, then we worked on this. <laughs> I know, right? Placeholder. Okay, we were working on this because we have had plenty of issues in this room. We usually die at least once. But... I came to the realization I was making this hard. I was doing a left-right here. I was doing this dumb, where I do that, right? A left and then a left, shoot, right. But you don't have to. You can neutral the D-pad and do that, and that is free. So now I sh theoretically shouldn't die here. I'm sure we'll still die occasionally, but... And now, now it also has me uh, much more... Like, I'm getting to the sock much quicker, which is good. So now I have more time to mount it. Because that was also part... So sometimes when I was doing my left-right on this, like, I was going like that. And then it made me... That left-right slowed me down just enough that I was late on the saw unlock, which made me miss the mount, right? Whereas now I have plenty of time, so... That's, that's really nice. You guys came in when I was working on the double saw. So we've got... what? So what prompted this is um, down here. When I was working on this on the one cycle the other day, I what I used to do for the, the one cycle Koopa is I would grab, jump, grab, jump, grab, jump, and go like that. Like that was my game plan. But what I realized when I was reinvestigating this... Uh, was climbing up, it like getting into the up climb animation. I think improves my Y position very quickly. And what I mean by that is, if I immediately jump, I don't know if you can tell, but I swear I'm not. I'm like jumping from a low position. Like I'm not getting a lot of credit, despite where like. Mario's visuals are, but if I take a very brief moment to climb up, not not a huge amount, just a small amount, I feel like I drastically increase my Y position for that brief moment, and then I jump, and that helps me get the right height to tackle this more consistently, right? So I'm taking that knowledge that I gained the other day, oops, and I'm throwing it into this... Because I also used to instantly jump off of this wall. So now I'm taking a climb. I also changed my cue. Bottom of saw, top of uh, top of second block from the bottom is going to be my dismount towards the left. And then here, top of Mario, top of... Sorry, top of... Did I write that down right? It's possible I miswrote that. Okay, yes. Top of Mario in line with the bottom of the second block from the top. It's like the inverse. And we're going to max jump fast fall. And then immediately min spin jump fast fall to get the instant trigger. And we change the cue. Use, look at the Chuck's foot for the... Um, to keep get him to jump right away on the other side. Okay, so that was that. 
And those are the changes from today. Not a ton, I guess. We have one, two, three, four, five changes today. Uh, to be fair, though, the Gil issue intro room happens twice. So you can kind of count that as six. Um, but I think I think these are all going to be very positive changes. And again, we're just, we're just whittling the list down, whittling the list. Okay, I'm going to go uh, pee real quick, and we're going to get started. It is time for the runs. Let's do it. Okay, this is here. You're back. Yo, what's up, Nick? Good luck and chase. Let's do it. Have to miss some of it? What are you up to? Got a hot date tonight, Mangort? Y'all love to see it. Tonight's gonna be the night, my friend. I keep, like, I'm too close, but then I'm also too far. Secret ROM hack testing commitment. Very nice. That sounds like a hot date to me. Thank you, Ash.
That's fucking lame. Disagree, because I feel like I, um... Not only did I press it once before I landed, I also feel like I pressed it twice in preparation, because I felt like I was early. And I still didn't get a fucking jump there. Yeah, we got the bottle. It was a uh, buy to get one free on the six pack of bottles. Our hand was forced, Ash. I had no choice. Lovely 260. more expensive than I thought it was going to be. I didn't really know how much it was going to be, but I kind of wanted to see, I guess. <clears throat> Are you going to live stream your reactions during the Super Bowl? Uh, I'm probably going to just stream during the Super Bowl. Uh, Paco's going to go watch the Super Bowl with a, uh, a friend of hers. It's one of those things that... Uh, if she was here, probably would have just watched it with her on the couch. You know, do that whole thing. But I don't feel like going over to someone else's house <laughs> for a game that I don't really particularly have uh, any interest in. It's not, I mean, I don't, I don't even really have a football team. So. Pretty much, pretty much. Nope. I would have hit the corner, I think, and crashed and burned, so I had to take it safe there at the end. Feels bad, but it is what it is. I don't initially mind when a strat goes a little bit south like that, because at least like the intent of the strat is captured. Right? Someone watching. The, like if this world record did someone watched that run back, they would know what I was going for. So I'm cool with that. that. Oh, 
Thank you, Nika, for the good luck. Just in time for essentially the first run. Nice! Optimal 20, let's go. Okay, Disco and Fish, don't let me down. Disco and Fish have been really, well, they were really rude. Um, Wednesday. Nice. 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 We're gonna keep tabs on how that updated visual cue and setup on the fish Reads us. Gorgeous. Uh, Eric, thank you for the tier one for 17 months. Come for that world record booty. Let's go. Today might be the day. At least that was a quick death. Really good entrance time into uh, Blades, if not for that dumb death in level one. But uh, solid Testudo, solid Dreadnought. Let's go. Today feels like it, man. Today feels good. Good. We can definitely take this world one. See what we can do with it. What if first run of the day just ends up being the run? I mean, it's not technically first run because I already had a, a reset, but the first one out of world one. How about that? I'll take it. I'm ready. And then celebratory nonsense? No. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave the nonsense to, uh, to Mangort. Anonymous with a tier three gift sub? What the? Yo, thanks, man. Uh, cast them. Enjoy the uh, the tier three. Damn, dude. What are the uh, what are the tier three? Is that the holy free holes? I'm blanking on which one the...
little awkward there, but made it work. Oh, my eye almost went too early. Oh, that would have been sad. too early. I think I was lined up nicely too. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. We, we go for that one time. Our updated setup is... Uh, has definitely allowed us to get that more often, but it's still very sketchy. It'd be perfectly reasonable to... to not go for it anymore. The uh, note block skip forcing into the really hard ending, but... Still on a very solid time. A lot of work into this lately. Blast Brigade, let's see what happens. Oh, I... Ugh. practicing for four hours on the same five seconds of gameplay until your fingers bleed would actually pay off. Who knew? Okay, we got the new strategy. If you guys didn't, if you weren't here for the science today, watch this. Watch. Look at that! How I... Mm, that's annoying. I fucking hate these goddamn blocks, dude. Make a fucking block. God, this level's actually not that bad. Like, I think it's it's like fairly enjoyable to play if, it, if the ASM was not fucking ass. I've just died twice to what feels like garbage to your bullshit. So yeah, the uh, the new intro room strat 
if I get the double, the, the, the fast pipe, it only loses like 0.05. Oh my god. Okay, well, I was not thinking about the strat. I, I was thinking about it, but not in terms of execution. I was trying to talk about it. Completely bypassed all of the, the visuals, so no attempt on it on this exit, unfortunately. Thank you, Otto. So, but to finish the thought, it's a really nice strat, not hard to execute. If I get the instant pipe, I get nearly the identical time as the optimal old way, but the old way was very inconsistent. So, like, we're like you would die a lot. You'd have to back stuff out a lot. <sighs> Can you... How did you fucking miss that? Burned out. Sorry to hear it, man. I totally get it, though. I get it. This is a, I mean, <laughs> a behemoth of a hack, to say the least. I definitely fault no one for feeling the burnout. But, if you, if you were, did you just roll in? Because if you did, uh, you just missed the showcase of one of the the new strats that's really nice in gill issue intro yeah yeah so the intro room i used to have the optimal like self drop into the pipe right like i drop and follow it in off of a jump instead of from the ground if that makes sense um it was very fast but very sketchy and I'd oftentimes have to back it out or I would end up dying. We came up with an alternate. That's very cool. I, You'll just have to wait till after this run or something. If you remind me, I'll, I'll showcase it. I had to back out the fast strat there because I messed up my control jump. So there's no way I would have gotten the right angles and, and spacing. Only a single on the snowdrop, but at least we skipped the Koopa. Okay. I looked away. That's my fault. Okay, I'm not gonna go for the fast pipe. I'll go. T I'll take it safe. That was a dumb death by me. I looked away just thinking that the... I forgot that you have to actually control fall to that bullet. And so I overshot it. So we're not going to go for the fast pipe. Oh, I should have come to a stop. That's two dice I've had after the ha after dying that I'm just going to go for the fast way. I'm going to go for fast now. Just let myself get in my own head. If I die, I will... My, my reset. There are, there are already some deaths that I'm not happy about in this attempt, <laughs> to be honest. Trash. Trash start, but we'll see. Okay. 
Okay. I think I'll I won't go for the hard ending of the second half. That was really late by me. That's fine. We always go one crack at that with varying success. I think that's a fair one to give a, a single crack at it. I don't remember the exact time save. Oops, I did not mean to do four there. Super easy. Didn't, do, didn't go over the single snowdrop there. Got both of them. Not going for the ice. Jeez Christ, still almost died to that death block. Time save has to be big for a single jump. Which jump? Oh, for the, the intro? Or the, the the start of the first room, I should say. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a nice uh, little save, but it doesn't save as much as, like, what the death costs, I don't think. Okay. <clears throat> so we did tweak. Oops, I did not mean to do it that way. That was the safe Koopa way. So I didn't realize before you could neutral the um, thing here. So we're going to do that. One day, one day, we will have nice things in Secret Exit. Now, I will say, even though we fucked up the saw, the part that we changed was the wall run dismount, and that did work both times smoothly, so... Oh my god, dude. How is that so posed? Oh, 
Make an adjustment to your big sparky jump start to guarantee the double the bubble respawn with minimal loss. I have it on my list to investigate the um the big sparky section like before and after because it is it's got some sketch to it for for me currently. And I think I can figure there's got to be a way to improve it. Didn't trust the one cycle there, the way the things were lining up. So I took it safe. Okay, this is, we're coming to the update from today. Focus. Perfect, dude. Perfect. That's what we worked on today. Love it. Fucking love the fucking wall climb in this game, dude. if that would have been gold have, had it not been for the fucking wall climb. I do a tiny no jump bounce. Tiny no jump bounce on which one? On the Sparky? The big Sparky? up I'll have to fix them after the boss holy shit in my trash Oh. 
big deaths, man. Dude, how, do you see how many times I pressed right bumper there? Fucking absurd. I'm looking at my input display too. It's it's not like uh, my controller's not working. You can definitely see it. It was pressing. <sighs> I did all the hard parts there just to lose to that shit. I just didn't jump. And... It's like I got confused as to what was the obstacle coming up. Ugh, my head is just definitely not in the right space on this attempt right now. I mean, it can come back, but... I'm making a lot of bad errors. Like, un un unforced. Does anyone race this game? I don't think so. I mean, I have definitely not. But I've also never seen anyone really race it either. safe. Okay. So we abandon a partial fast rope jump one time and then didn't get the chuck, the second chuck bounce we didn't get. Um, otherwise, and I think the, at the, the spring chuck, I think, did an extra hop, I think. Otherwise, very solid. They race for a cherishing? Wow, well, when, when was that? And what were their times? Was this, like, early on? Yeah, it was... Why did I go for that when I totally... F I got so tricked. <sighs> My movement was so scuffed. And it made it look like... 
I had hit the visual cue, but I clearly was further left than normal because of the scuffed movement. I should have just gone for the two cycle. That was fucking terrible decision making. Nope. Fuck, I fucking hate this room. This is such a... This actually exit in, in general I fucking hate. I think I think it's a good casual playthrough level. I think it's a fucking trash speedrun level. It's definitely a thing. Especially after you die once, it's just, it's just so annoying to have to replay this. Oh, they were doing, like, extra stuff? Hmm. I can't imagine a uh, an all-portraits run. <laughs> imagine doing all-portraits and having to, like, find laser.
Thank you for the hitbox. Thank you for the hitbox. me a bit. Let's get this rant. Nah, even if it was fairly simple, I'll probably still wait till I actually take some time with it. And I'm already, I'm already itching to get a different run started. <laughs> I don't don't really uh, want to take the time to investigate the film because we did we did do about like an hour and forty five today. Because Barb said it was a boss. Not much of a boss, but I guess it counts. your breath. I wouldn't hold your breath. <laughs> Probably the barb. Probably the barb. Just think about how much press there is to get in that door. Right? the very end of the run, nonetheless. Definitely don't love our position. It's going to require a uh, good weird wield, good yacht, good idol. But if those three things happen, then it wouldn't be terrible, I guess, at that point. There'd be a chance. I won't go for the fast P switch. We're going to go more traditional here. I fucked that up, so no fast pipe. I did not like the angles I was taking.
part always has me spooked. I think I could have done the Kaizo Helper block, to be honest. But whenever I have to do the right-left wiggle to line things up, it spooks me a bit that... Because that means that I was further forward, so I'm essentially going to be making contact with the fireball further right than normal, which means I might not have the distance to get to the... Like, get the angle to go from the fireball back into the Kaizo block, so... Oh my gosh. set up wishful thinking there's a perfectly good backup that does not lose that much time and I, I had the option to take it Commit, please. Commit. Either co fully commit, I should say, either fully commit or don't commit. Right? Like, do the alt, the backup strat. Even a good idle hands won't bring this really back. It's going to need more than just a good idle hands, and that's already asking <laughs> quite a bit, but... <sighs> Man, we got we to gotta see what the idle hands has in store. Got to see. How many times do you know I use the word wiggle? All of them. All of the time. For every second that I'm streaming, I am also saying the word wiggle. That's just a fact. Wow. Wow. That part's free, and I rushed it. Thank you. 
That had all the strats, including the uh, extra fast component. After the second Bowser statue. Would you rate this speedrun route? Um, I mean, it's for the the ROM hacks that I've run. This is up there as it's possibly the hardest, just because there are so many strats. off. There are so many strats and there, and there are so many hard strats that I go for. And it's such a long hack, so there's a lot of, like, spots to fuck up. And there's a lot of RNG. Grand 2 was, was long and hard, but it's way more consistent and what I would call fair to the runner. Too many big mistakes. Way too many. So many times dying at like halfway or two thirds of the way through a section on on dumb shit. Like I should never die to that fucking throw block part, but I botched like the jump up to a platform. And it spooked me. I wasn't dead. It spooked me, and that that was enough to like throw off my movement. So it is what it is. Try a fresh run here. We can do this. I would say of the the things that were updated because we are we did do all of the updated stress. To, like all the stuff that we updated was in the first half of the run. So, and I think it all went well. Uh, fish, the testudo fish went well. Blast brigade went. Well, 
we got the the full one cycle of the double saw and chuck gate in tall tall peak normal and i mean who knows the last time i actually did that so that's a huge boost to morale for tall tall peak um tall tall peak secret we did get the wall run not once but twice we died to the saw after on the first time but the part that we changed worked. The gill issue interim, we forgot to do it on the second entry, but the first entry was perfect. Just being consistent for this long, yeah. <clears throat> like all exits currently is like about an hour and a half but eventually I do think it'll be more like an hour and a quarter right but even if you chop off 10 or 15 minutes like an hour and 15 is still a very long time to Kaizo right in other games Like, let's take DKC3, for example. Because I used to run that. 103% was... That is not... I was completely distracted <laughs> at the, the move there. 103% uh, initially, like, when I was doing it, was, like, sub two hour was an incredible time. I think because, like, initially it was, like, a 156, maybe, was world record. Eventually, you know, by the end of my tenure there, it was 151. And then now I think it's, like, 150. But regardless... For, for sake of argument, we can say it's near two hours. A near two hour run. It's also a platformer, right? But the difficulty of the actual platforming is much harder in Kaizo in general. And then in even though DKC3 is longer, there's so much downtime when you have like bonus game load-ins and um like <laughs> let's regrab the talking to bears right going back oh my my split froze sorry about that So yeah, talking to bears, the, like, getting your vehicle. So, like, when you beat a boss, sometimes two, uh, you end up getting a new vehicle, but you have to go back to Funky to acquire it. And there's a huge, like, you know, talking scene and, like, waiting for it to show up and blah, blah. So a lot of downtime. And then, of course, when you, you know, beat a level... Just like in SMW, you beat a level, you got, you know, sometimes it's a number of seconds there to wait as well. So even though that's like a, it's like a two hour run and it's, it does have its own difficulties and struggles. Um, I do think it's like a lot easier to be consistent on that compared to this. An hour and 15 of just like what feels like pretty much nonstop action. I want to peek at it. It's in the DMs. Okay, if this one dies, I'll take a, a quick peek at it. Okay, so that, that last run, it wasn't great. I definitely was not, like, thrilled with some of the mistakes. But, again, we, we got a lot of the new stuff correct. That does bode well. And plenty of time tonight. It is Friday after all, so we can, if we want to stay up till 3 in the morning playing this game, you better believe we'll do it. So buckle up. Let's get some runs. Cool. 
Let me take a quick peek at this. So you go, you you do more of my old version. Actually, no, you go for what's probably actually. You know what? I, I actually I want I almost want to test this because this makes the. I feel like this is going to make the jump over the net easier, and possibly you're doing it sooner than when I'm doing it. So maybe it it actually ends up being better. You know what? Fuck it. We're going to test it. We're gonna fucking test it. Give me a second, guys. It was intriguing enough that I felt compelled. Let's let's take a look. Bubbles. a wee investigation. This shouldn't take long. I'm, I'm kind of greeting this a bit, but... Oh, I forgot you have to do two on there. Hold on. Getting myself confused a bit. Okay. Now that I've got it, let's do... get a safe state like that. Okay, so this this is valid. Okay, hold on. We've got our save state. So right side of blue bubble, left side of transparent, because the blue bubble is the, the um, bottleneck here. That's what we're looking for, 685. Do it again. Oops. Yeah, I, I push the screen out to, to get that bubble spawned earlier, and then I make sure not to pan the camera back to the left, because if you pan it back to the left, it doesn't do the good things. Like this, that one, like, that would not work. Okay, 685. One, one more sample with my current annoying way. I feel like I did something that I didn't trust. Okay. 68685. That's my current. Okay. Let's take a look at the Mighty Mouse. Oops. Forgot to... Okay, so it does lose. This Ooh. I actually thought there was a chance I was actually gonna break even. Truthfully.
Oh, your way is definitely, this is definitely more consistent. 100%. I'm doing some weird shit there, but... I was just wondering if I could get the, if this might give a better angle to earlier dismount. I was hopeful there for a second. I thought maybe. So it looked like it was about 0.4 seconds slower. I'm surprised it was that much slower, to be honest. So greedy there. You know how Gate of Fire is a, uh, or, sorry, I should say Gate of Fire. I should say the, the overworld that contains Gate of Fire. You know how that's supposed to be like a, visually, the layout's supposed to look like Grim Pearl 2? Like Gate of Fire is where Marathon is essentially, et cetera, et cetera. Is there a spot that is supposed to be like a Gramp World 1 Overworld remake. Thank you, Lost for the Buck. We took one to, uh, to Brother Bastion, but it wasn't that spectacular. So we kind of 
decide to do a reset and uh, try again. Hopefully your net's going well. In Grand Parole 2 there is? Really? What part of Grand Parole 2 visually, uh, like on the overworld, looks like Grand Parole 1? Final area, I have to think about. Man, I can't picture what the the ground looks like in that overworld with the Bowser Castle. See the continent. that then it's like this is a little bit delayed because I have to wait for that. Okay. Otherwise that was good. Good room. speed at the uh, the key when I did that jump. When I initially picked up the key, sorry. Oh, that was close. Let's go. Uh, strong, sorry. Two twenties today. Love to see it. So yeah, I think I remember that. I think I'm was more talking about like the gate of fire area is like you are on the same map, just in a different time. I do like the callbacks, though, like that. Oh, my dude. I, first of all, I almost just slid off the yellow pipe. Like, I almost went too far back to left on my swing out. Shoutouts to YouTube preemptively. This is going to be the fucking run, I can tell. Mark it in your calendars. 
at the wee hours of February 10th. This is going to be the, the world record run. Pretty sure I just got a frame perfect block grab there. But I still had rightward moment or leftward momentum. The lore. That's bad. Oh my god, dude! What am I fucking doing? Well, there goes the good world one. Definitely, definitely, uh, threw some away there. <sighs> but, it's not, it's not god-awful. <laughs> it's just, it's just sort of bad. It's, it's fine. It's manageable. Welcome to cave. Let's go. I'm surprised that wasn't an 80. Could be a game down decision if I go for the uh, fast ending of the second half. I probably will, to be honest. Dead. Maybe not, maybe not. Oh my god, dude. Okay, we're not gonna go for the fast ending now. Uh, in second half. I do feel like I, I had a chance to salvage it, too. Oh, didn't get the one cycle that time, either. One twenty five uh, ten is current world record.
not really the place I expected to have to reset, but it do be like that sometimes. Today is still the day. Yeah, today is still the day. Yo, what's up, James? Ugh. Feels good, though, doesn't it, Mighty Mouse? If you're not running anymore, is, is Grim still running? Or is he on uh, break as well? I know uh, Yuri is running. I think he's doing any percent, though. Oh my God, that is the wrong supposed to be a min bounce. Grim stopped a while ago. So it might just be me and uh, Yuri at the moment. Yeah, I assume Grand Pooh Bear is not pushed any further. I could be wrong, but... I don't know if he's been uh, been grinding at all. I don't feel like I've seen uh, Super Ben uh, streaming either for a, a while. I don't know if that if he's like busy IRL or or what, but I also kind of assume he's not grinding at the moment. Nug is occasionally grinding, but he's also got like a a schedule that he's following. So he only uh, speedruns Kaizo, I think, it's, uh, once a week. I, I, I cannot believe that's the death I just took. That was a weird one. Uh, what the far? Thank you for the reset there. One second. And again, I apologize. My alerts are busted. Hopefully, uh, Streamlabs gets back to me because I have no freaking clue <laughs> why it's not working. Mighty Master, are you having any issues with with Streamlab? I don't know. I assume that you're using Streamlab alerts, but I don't. I don't. I could be wrong. It stopped working for me on Wednesday, so I don't know what the deal is. How's the PB hunt going? Uh, pretty good. When we uh, got our PB, I think on Sunday with the 125, uh, 23 or something. So pretty solid. Um, Wednesday was our next stream after that Sunday, but that one went poorly. We we only were on for an hour and a half because we had work that night, so... Well, we had worked that day and then worked the next day, so... Couldn't stay on too long, and we weren't getting anything going, so I cut that one early. And uh, now we're back today on Friday. It's about an hour and 45 on some investigations, five or six updates. All of them actually feeling pretty darn good. Really useful. Uh, you know, time well spent, essentially. Um... Got two runs so far out of World 1. One immediately crashed and burned, unfortunately, in a very surprising fashion. And then uh, the other one we did take to Brother Bastion, but it, it was that one was limping along for a long time. It was never, like, that that great. But it was just decent enough to, like, warrant continuing. And then... We eventually just said, nah, it's time to, to pull the plug. Nice. 
very nice. Uh, Doug, thank you for the raid. Welcome in, welcome in. Hope you had a good stream. What were you, uh, what were you gaming tonight? And thank you for the good luck. You might be in good time to see a World 1 exit. We did get a pretty solid, uh, most right now. We gotta see what happens here the boss, I guess. So that's three out of three today. Perfect 20s. Uh, have you tried doing a fresh new install of Streamlabs? Alerts have been fine for other streams. I have not. I have tried to log out and log in to let it, like, uh, reauthorize. And I've tried to refresh my source. Because I, I use XSplit for my actual streaming software. I just use the Streamlabs alert box. Could have saved that actually well. Uh, it's a weird one. Um, nice. I do like that update on the fish. It's felt good all day. How do you make that Mario in the background? Uh, not sure I know what you mean by the Mario in the background. I need a little bit more detail. Was a good world one on a. I just should have. I overheld jump for literally no fucking reason, and I got fucking. Cool. I'll just be tilted if I continue that. That is. That's such a garbage. Such a garbage uh, death. Ah, oh, I just feel like there's so much fucking jank in this hack, dude. <laughs> I swear. Like how does that how does that not give me credit for just being on the shell and put me in the the pipe? Again, just the way the ASM is coded, it probably tries to position you. Like when you mount the shell, you're pr it probably like pushes you to the right side of the shell and then pulls you back to the left, like center. It's it's probably some dumb shit like that. So if you're like lined up against the the pipe it's probably like putting you inside the pipe and then you're you don't have anywhere to stand inside the pipe so you die that that's just a guess i don't i don't 100 know but I've, I've had that happen to me like once maybe twice before so that's not that's not my first time dying like that it's just a really dumb death it is avoidable but it also doesn't feel great <laughs> Uh, Dreadnought is going well, knock on wood. Oh, I thought I, saw, I thought you were talking about like stream layout or like in the actual like Grand Prix World Three. You're talking about this guy. <laughs> I didn't make that actually. My my mom, uh, you know, saw it for sale. 
somewhere. She's like, oh, I've got to get this. Then, then surprise sent it to me. Like I did, I did not know this was coming in the mail. <laughs> so I just get this like giant box one day. You know, start opening up the box, see a bunch of uh, packing peanuts, reach my hand in and then start pulling out this like giant ass pinata. <laughs> Baldur's Gate 3, it's a lot of fun. I've heard good things. Isn't that supposed to be like Game of the Year or something? Messed up the triple key jump. Surprised we actually only lost like two seconds for that mistake. Felt like it was going to be more than that, but I'll take it, I guess. I can't believe I saved that. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I definitely should have been dead. 100%. This room has been on fire today. Oh, almost spoke too soon. That was giving me a little haircut there up, up top, but uh, no harm, no foul. Dude, four for four. Unbelievable. Get in the 20, let's go. Yeah, love it. Fucking love it. Thank you, Disco, for- Why has the Disco been so fucking shitty lately? I- I really do not know. Like, that one was good. It's been- it's been extra bad. Like, every once in a while, I'm okay with the Disco being annoying and dumb. But it's been happening in a disproportionate amount of times now. Between today and um, Wednesday. I don't really know. I, I mean, I took a gander at it to try to see if I could figure out how to prevent the it from happening, but... Nothing seemed obvious as to how to manip the disco. Speaking of games that we haven't uh, played before, 
that is. Completely wrong movement. I want to try out some Rogue. Uh, like Rogue Legacy 2. Remember, this is a while ago now, but I remember watching Chambo playing it. I was like, damn, that looks like a fucking fun ass game. Oh my god. Okay, we have to do it this way as a backup. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Wasted my. I didn't know. Spawn got uh, messed up. That's too big of a death. Well, you pocket for the good luck. Damn, we've been wasting our world ones. We've had we've gotten out of Dreadnought with a perfect or near perfect execution four times today. I don't I don't think we've had any all those four that completed. I don't think any of them had big issues. I, I could be mistaken. But I know all four had perfect boss fights, and I don't think I've died on the key jump, the triple key jump. I think I had, there was one that I had a, like a two-second mistake. But the other ones might have all been fine or, or close to it. We've had some sketchy sharks, but it clutched them out. I know the right, the water rising water room has been very, very good. So yeah, I, th I think we've had some really nice dreadnoughts, and yet have only gone out once, which is a bummer because Testudo Normal should be free, and yet I took I lost one to that, and then lost two to to Blades, right? Oh no, one to Blades and one to Toxic. So I guess technically that one did get out of World 1, but died so quickly thereafter that it's like, does it really count? Like, Toxic Normal kind of still feels like World 1. <laughs> okay. It's fine. Just do it again right here. One of those things where it's like I could continue even if it was plus a minute and a half, right? We could we could obviously continue and still PB, still get record. But it's one of those things where the mindset would be all wrong if I took a big death in World One or two big deaths in World One. I'd be bitching and moaning <laughs> the rest of the the rest of the run, and then if it ends up PB, I'd be like, well, fuck, why didn't we just reset and get a stronger start? I do agree. I think we've come a long way. Dreadnought's looking a lot better. A lot of the snow levels are looking a lot better. A lot of the cave levels are looking a lot better. Both cave left and right. Or I should say cave right and left, because left comes after the route. what I intended. Totally. I don't kill the shark because he can't die in 1. And theoretically, he won't be able to die in 1.1. So I intentionally don't kill him. I have a route that I use. I, I fucked up the on-off switch on the way back. I fucked up the movement there. And so I just, like, ended up accidentally... The, the slowdown had to maybe kill him. Oh my god, I can't believe I survived that. A little bit of a misplay, but... 
I mean, this is how you know that we're, we're like, doing the good shit here in Dreadnought today. Like, the fact that we survived the key, the shark room, like, the way we did, and then the fact that we didn't die on that shell, like, on this, on this room. The other attempt with the shark room, where it was sketchy as fuck, and we also survived, like, <laughs> someone's looking out for me. In uh, Dreadnought, at least. And that's five for five on perfect boss fights here. Did I see the the Floyd gift sub to to Otto? Floyd, did I say thank you to you? Let's jump. Nice. No fish shenanigans today. Really well with the update. Okay, nice. Oh. It's barely too early. So it's been an amazing Dreadnought day. It's been a terrible Blades day. But I got faith right here. Let's go. Sometimes you gotta will things into existence. You gotta believe. This run's dedicated to Floyd, because I'm pretty sure I forgot to say thank you to him. Let's go. Very strong. Very strong world one. Yeah, like zero, zero to six seconds behind at this point. It's incredible. Say so when you get to that like fifteen to the fifteen to twenty-ish mark, low twenty, fifty to like twenty-two. I'd say that's it's solid. Could be better, but it's it, it's it, it's solid. And like the twenty-five to thirty is kind of like eh. Passable, like we can work with it. It's not ideal, but then like 40 plus, it's like eh, probably reset. <laughs> so yeah, we're we're definitely in that great in that really good range right now. Let's see what we can do with it.
That was really strong. I feel like every part of that level or that room. This is this one's dedicated to Floyd, like I said. Let's see if we can't get him the fast end. Floyd run goaded? Is that is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> Holy shit. Well, prepare to never ever see green exiting uh, toxic normal now, I guess. <laughs> Got all the fast strats there. Pretty damn solid. I mean, it's like crazy good. Let's go. Wow. That's easy as fuck. That's such a disappointment. The updates to Blast Brigade TNT, like the Switcheroo, have been very, very strong. We've done such a better job there, but then I just fucking I cannot believe the way I lost time in that level. Okay, focus. Didn't get the instant, but I don't know if Mighty Mouse is still here, but that's the update. I didn't. I didn't get it right, so it was actually ended up being a little bit slower than than the intended. Um, you saw the. What's it, oh, fuck. Got the '96 intro instead of ni high '97. What am I doing? Uh, okay, let's see if we can do it this time with the fast. So it's it's very easy to do the new strat in the intro room, and it's very very barely slower than when done optimally compared to the optimal old way. But it's way more consistent to get the optimal. That is not what I meant to do. Never mind, didn't get to do it. I was, my fingers were on the wrong buttons. That's, oh, did not get.
I, you know what? I, should, I probably should position my hand on XA instead of YB to start the intro of Gil. That's why I made a mistake on that second entry there. So was, my fingers were probably not in the best spot. Disappointed with how the Blast Brigade first half went because I kept on at the end, which is like super easy. Uh, and we didn't really do a great job with the intro of Gil for various reasons. But outside of that, that was a very good cave right. Yeah, PB was on Sunday. It's a late night Sunday, if I remember correctly. Beat it right here. Beautiful. It's got the double, got the Koopa skip. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's. I was trying to think of how to back it up because I didn't get the fucking, the most important, the, really the only one I needed. So I didn't have that like fluid movement. I was trying to like, okay, well you gotta up toss it and then I ended up getting a fucking regular toss. surprised. thought I actually crushed that setup. By setup, I really mean just like hitting the visual. Hit the pixel. Go, we're just gonna go for all of the fucking thwomps. We're gonna go the easy ending. I clearly need to practice that faster thing because my movement there is fucking scoffed today. On that, like I can't. I'm just like not remembering the way to bounce to to do it. It's like confusing me. Can you fucking please? Yeah, we're definitely going to 
easy ending. Easier ending. that I need to look in that. Like, because it's, it, there are so many options you can do for bouncing on the thwomps that it's like confuses me as to which one is the one I'm supposed to be doing with my strat. Yeah, thank you, Skylar. on the updates. Oh, I didn't need the extra spin by I could have gone earlier. Focus. Should still be salvageable. Lost a cycle, but... the uh, the Again, the important part is that the wall run ending, like the dismount of the wall run, has worked three for three today with the update. Very nice. Having a little trouble with the ice though, the ice block. I must not be used to the exact angle and speed that I have now post change to the wall run dismount. So it looks like that is impacting me a bit, but I think we get some more practice in there. More reps will be fine. Get the blue bubble the right way, so. That's like the one possible issue. And it does not have that does not happen very often. Oops. I was gonna do it the Mighty Mouse way and I forgot. Well, it's going well. Been a busy day at work putting, or busy day, uh, busy week at work, I should say. Busy week at work putting out fires, but made it through. So we are good to go, ready for a nice long weekend. Getting some hot runs in. Nothing hot yet, but uh, the night is still young, in my opinion. Nice, got the one cycle. <sighs> Why is that almost a disaster? Okay, we did crush with the new visual cues here on the first attempt. Look at that, dude. Oh, yeah. Two for two. With the mega fast. Can we clutch it and finish strong? Nope. We lost the one cycle. Unfortunate.
would would have loved to see if that would have golded if I got the one cycle saw. I must have missed my right regrab, like the visual cue for when to, to switch from left to right, because I ended up like really low, so I must have been really late. Make it look easy. I try, I try. It kicks my ass most of the time, though. Oh, God. Oh, God. I almost choked. Almost choked again. Get me out, thank you. Pipe, but so we had to use one extra spin block. Not bad though, not bad. Ooh, okay, that was close. Grand Pearl 3, your new favorite ROM hack? No, I would not. I don't think it's still, I, it doesn't crack my top three. Uh, my top, top three is still unchanged. Grand Pearl 2, Storks, and El Dorado, but not in that order. This, this hack definitely has some very fun strats, so like very sexy, if you nail it, you feel real good kind of strats. But it the run itself has a lot of frustration. With some RNG, some ASM jank. And just in general, being a long Kaizo run, right? So there's gonna be, it's like already, it's difficult. The, the execution required just to beat the levels in general. Oh, can I please get an orb, by the way? This is fucking 107 already. Stop giving me... D Dude, are you serious? You fucker. Come on, man. Love it. Yeah. What, a, what a fun fucking game. What a fun fucking game, dude. Outside of Slipknot, it's off by one, I think. Yeah. Outside of Slipknot, I think we uh, had a pretty strong snow, if my memory serves. Yeah, it's RNG. It, it doesn't appear until um, one minute. Like, that's like the minimum for the orb to appear. But then you have to just wait. Have to eventually to show up, but you never know when. Okay. I'd still say we're in, we're in pretty good position here. 
I know, don't don't be fooled by the, the plus one minute. And there some annoyances, obviously, with the fucking 6M boss costing me over 20 seconds, but... Um, plus one minute's not really a bad place to be. Like, 111 pace on rope burn. So, you know, especially since we're, like, post-Hagakuri now. Let's go. Skyler, this level might, uh... Bring back some memories for you. I need to get your uh, burn your rope update ready. Do I do like motor skills levels? So we didn't get the second chuck bounce. jumps. Okay. Get me out of that. <laughs> Burn your rope update. This, uh, this run's going. It's coming along. We're, we're staying where we need to be. Striking range. on the right exit. this by doing like intended strats on the fly that is definitely we lost multiple cycles there but nope nope i was on the wrong grip type was i in the wrong grip type oh wait can't do my fast p switch strat there because i wasn't necessarily on the right cycle i'm confusing myself it's fine Oh, mm. yeah, definitely in the wrong grip type, but somehow no, I was like, that felt really weird. Oh, wrong. That was all messed up anyways. Little late on the last Resner, like a wait a little long, but it's fine. Depends on the hack. I mean, in general, I do take longer than most to learn because I'm very like in depth from the like from the get go. I like really break it down. I don't just like um, play the hack over and over again. I think that's like a more common approach. Try to be optimal from the start. So yeah, I spend a lot of time. But this hack, especially with how long it is and how difficult and how many different ASMs there are, uh, which has allowed for a lot of very interesting strats. More so than in a normal Kaizo. Oh! Okay, gonna 
go for the normal ending now. Could have been in the green, exiting, uh, if we had done it, uh, first try. Okay, I took the last little platform a little bit safe, but otherwise, good shit. Skip the halfway. Let's go. I skip it for time. Wow, there was some luck. A dash of skill and a lot of luck. <laughs> uh, sorry, Shorts for Record. It's one of the best. Oh, thanks. Appreciate that, Niku. Uh, do you play with Claw on the last level? For, for um, motor skills, yes. I play with Claw. Fuck, come on. Split. I could have had a green. green. I think even some of the item parts I do in Claw in that motor skills level. Like I would imagine I do. Smooth like butter, dude. <clears throat> Yeah, item item tech's always easier and or for the most part it's easier in standard grip, but motor skills is easier in claw. So in certain situations like that, it's like I have to teach myself how to uh, do the item stuff in claw. Sure, this is the run that I said I dedicated to Floyd. Got some Floyd. Why did I wait so long to toss that? That could have been very bad. Fireball part a little bit safe. Not not crazy, crazy safe, but safer than I normally do. 
Uh, Super Nico Girl, thank you for the tier one for two months. In the green. It's, a, it's always a nice feel, all right? I think we had a um, pretty good Weird Wheel Blast run, I think. Uh, we are definitely going to go for the fast P-Switch one time. So we might lose our lead, but it's fine. Oh! Nice instant pipe. A little shaky there on that movement, but it's fine. Saves, good saves, good saves. A little, definitely slow, but we uh, found a way to not die in that scenario. Things were messy again, so no, no fast ending, no off-screen ending, no Kaizo helper block door, like so various slowness throughout that room, but survived. Let's go. Oh, dang. My PB was actually, like, pretty fuck. It's already, it's at Weird Wheel as well. Like, on the second half. I'm surprised. I didn't realize that my PB was this strong of a pace. Please, thank you. Sloppy, but survived. Oh my god. Okay. Well, I guess we're, we're gonna take it safe because this is terrible. Incorrect movement, but. Can you please give me a little bit more room? Like, how is this? Am I just messing up my visual? Am I just not focused on the right fucking spot for when to move? Okay, I'm gonna take it the easy way now. Gave it two cracks. Not been a good day there. That strat. Still great. Still great. Catching us at a good time, my friend. We actually had a pretty darn good uh, idle hands on the previous run that got here, but it was it was a bad pace, so like kind of a wasted idle hands. Uh, hopefully, we can reproduce, but on this better pace.
pray. That's not what I meant to do. Oh my, dude, I literally did the same thing twice. I got myself so, one bat mistake, and I just confused myself completely. If you mess up the fast, you might as well just go for the intended. There's no reason to reset, like, reset it up. We'll spend more time. I mean, that was an idle hands. It's exactly what happened on the last really good pace I got here. Exact same shit. Yeah, I'm just gonna say I didn't feel like doing the triple regrab to save time. All that that many deaths already. So we'll take the time loss at the halfway there this time. Really good zoomies. Can you fucking stop, Spring? <sighs> First time I didn't fucking bounce, second time it like goes hella fucking far.
Okay, got the backup manip. Uh, Rubens, thank you for the raid. Welcome in. No, you're at a good time. You're at a good time. We're not the best brother Bastion, but good, uh, good fight there. We got the the second, you know, the backup with one, one failed manip. Uh, so 378, very strong. Hope your stream went well. We are definitely cruising right now on some on a good run. Read that, I guess. Vincent, why no longer doing the zoomies under the jumping statues? I need to reinvestigate it for whatever reason. If I have this the save state, I can do the zoomies no problem. But in actual runs, the Bowser statues are a little bit different. I don't know. I don't know what part I'm being late on, but it's like a little bit messed up. So I don't even bother at the current moment until I investigate again. Okay, we don't grab halfway on the first attempt. So. Pray. Yeah, yeah, there's uh I changed the way I do the wing block and the bullet and the chalk part post halfway. I like it a lot. <sighs> okay, Guano. Get one crack at the fast. gonna bonk the corner. Okay, that was our one crack at it. I really thought I was gonna actually get it. I had like a really nice setup working for me there, but... I'm dead. How was I that late? This is the semi. -fast. I'm not going to do anything other than the semi fast on the you know for the rest of these attempts here. So we're we're just gonna, we're going to do that. We're going to get it. That's that's the rule. Oh, 
I'm dead. It's because I fucking bonked that time, man. <sighs> the semi-fast has usually worked out very well for me, but of course. It's not without risk. deaths. Ah, damn. Actually, I don't know how much time we had to save, to be honest, so I don't know. I don't know what the total time loss was. It was expensive, though, that's for sure. The, uh, the first attempt was actually pretty good with the super fast strat, but... I didn't get the credit for it. I thought I was like super late there. I thought there was no way that I was going to get credit for the, the pencil bat. Okay, I mean, still best ever pace. Definitely nothing to sneeze at, right? We've done we've done some good shit this run. Even if um, <clears throat> the gr the grotto didn't go well. Like, got confused as to what jump I wanted to do, and then it messed up my muscle memory on the bumpers. <sighs> We're gonna go easy pipe, too. I'm not gonna, that's two deaths already. I'm not gonna risk it. Very safe. Oh. I'm dead. Yeah. Just too slow. And too far to the right to begin with. Did not get to the, the edge. by a mile. That was exactly how it should be. Here's my game plan to catch back up. I'm not going to go for the double key jump. That's the one concession I'll make here. I'll, I'll do the I'll do the double double jump to rotate faster. But assuming I don't fuck up the fishing boos or any or the double or the saws or anything like that, I will go for the semi fast instead.
Okay, so yeah, we, we took it a little bit easy on the double fishing boo with the spring. We took it with the uh, easier rotating key platform. We got everything else correct fast. It must be a really good back and forth between me and my shadow PB right now, like in the corner. left let's try to crush it We'll go for the fast ending one time here. Never uh, I'm gonna have to do it die twice. It's in too deep. Okay, no fast ending. Take the the easier. I can't believe that that's how I Okay, well that's not what I meant, but Technically, 117 pace entering gate of fire, <laughs> but only by the most technical definition.
Send me your energy, my friends. on Bowser. I cannot believe what I just witnessed. Up, accidental up input into he... <sighs> on the winning hit. let myself die there. <sighs> okay, this is not going to be a good one to save on three. So that's definitely a hit because he was going to do spin as his next. his fucking watching for his fucking attack cool Yep, this is gonna be a fucking great, great. Can't wait to lose another 50 seconds to whatever death is gonna happen. Yeah, cool.
Oh my god. Nice run. Actually, I gotta, I gotta power it off. Nice run. We should have had on that very first attempt. Mostly Bowser fight for time saves. Can be some. I mean, there's definitely some room for some big green from the Bowser fights. But even, I mean, up till there, we were in the green at a one very very low 118 pace entering Bowser. So there's still 11 minutes that we could do better on up to that point. So we can still be green before that. I mean, the ammo saving can be uh, troublesome. But you have to remember, that very first attempt, I literally had the fight 
if I didn't get a ghost up input. And even if I did get my ghost up input in there and throw the block up, if he doesn't do a fucking shell, I still probably win that fight. I'd say odds are definitely in my favor, even with the accidental up toss, so. Let's get another one going here. I think we've had two pretty decent idle hands today. Coastal was really nice. Guana was trash. Mm, come on, man. Give me a jump. Why does it feel like level one takes for fucking ever <laughs> to get out of? Not, well, I mean, just to play it once, I should say. Realize it's like two minutes to get, uh, get past level one. I don't remember how long Marathon was. Obviously, with a name like Marathon, you'd think it's like forever. But I always felt like Marathon didn't feel like that long. It felt longer just because you don't get the halfway, right? platforms in the second half. Oh, I mean, that's true. The, um, like, you're, you're following the very slow. Can you? Okay, I'm not going to reset that. I'm going to eat the time loss. But I'd like to get back to Bowser, <laughs> to be honest. Really thought we were going to have his number there. Yeah, 
Yeah, so most of it is pretty fast paced, I guess, yeah. It's just this part coming up. Right here. Let's go. Let's play some video game. Floyd, were you were you here when I I I was I literally honored that or I I um dedicated that last run to you because I think I for I because I don't have my alerts on right now they're broken so didn't see I don't know if I saw that you gifted a sub so after missing it I dedicated it to you and then we made it to Bowser. Yeah, I think I think a little pace improvement of not having those that slower section with the falling platforms probably would have you know been nice. Not not a, a huge difference either way, but I think I think it would improve the pacing a little bit. Yeah, that, that Floyd run was really good. Oops, fuck. Jumped didn't work. It started in the green. Like, we, we crushed the faster at the end of uh, Toxic Tunnel. Normal exit. Where is my Dow? So we were in the green by like 12 seconds. And we only, we only lost like six or seven in, in home, so. Okay. Okay, this could just be a bad start. If I get if I'm if I get the key jumps here though. Oh my dude, what is Mario doing, dude? He's like Is he still permanently on ice from that fucking Bowser fight? Like <sighs> I'm getting like all these very, very small down taps that are so small number of frames that it's not actually getting me under the death block. And the, the reason that that's surprising is because if you've ever swam with an item in SNW, you know it doesn't take much to um, push you down. Like if, you, if when you're holding down, how do I, how do I, I'm not describing this well. I think it's more of a changing directions. Like if you if you're kind of floating upwards and you like tap down when you have an item in your hand while swimming, maybe that's what it is. You change downwards like pretty quick before stabilizing, I think. But regardless, you don't need much pressure on down to make it do the thing. And that was like three times in a row where I just got like such a small down tab <laughs> that it just didn't work, didn't function. Just the strongest disagree, man. I I feel like I was so. I, I there's I just was not that close to that muncher. I just I just don't believe this. We've got the the post good run uh, like struggle right now. We're having trouble getting back. I mean, ho home is actually kind of hard to get out of. Most of the things that will kill me in level one are at the end of the level. Which is like unrunnable at that point. Like, there's just gotta reset that. And then Dreadnought is very hard level. We've actually been crushing Dreadnought today, minus the last two times. Like, those. Like the 
first water attempts that we just did. Out outside of that, those two, we've actually been having like really clean dreadnoughts. Very happy to see it. Try this again, this time with feeling. Yeah, if I got that first try, I would, you know, getting that 118 pace out, even if it was like a 118.15 or 118.30, I would, I would say high, high 120 XX was, was definitely in a, in a, doable range, like a high percentage shot. 1-1-X one, one obviously was still on the table, but what percentage would I give? Maybe maybe 10% chance Then we just kind of crush the rest of the game and sneak in there with like a 119. Yeah, we would have been in a really good spot. I would, I would definitely would have taken that. Yo, what's up, Tito? Long time no see. Hope you've been well. Oh my god, I almost didn't make that. Okay, triple key jumped on. Let's go. That's a Titus. Just had a, not too long ago, a really good run. Second to last boss. World record pace. By a comfortable margin, but I had to do a right left to fix that. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Let's go. Didn't get a step before doing the block grab. Also busted. Knock on wood, but we have perfected this boss every single time today. It's like five times or something. There's another one. Let's go. Do you know better the bosses? Yeah, the bosses definitely work against my favor, I would say. <laughs> I'm more about that, like, calculated approach, Mighty Mouse. Analyzing the different things. Jump here at this pixel. All right, do this camera nip here. But the, uh, the bosses for this tend to be more about, like, a reaction. his different attacks. Like, managing a bunch of different shit on screen. Both both Bowsers, I would say. Like, 
no two Bowser fights are going to probably feel the same. Just gotta do your, your best to kind of like deal with what you got. And Magic Koopa was the same way until we were able to like figure out a manip. I'm not sure we'll be as lucky with <laughs> figuring out a, a Bowser manip, unfortunately. Up, I'd say I hit the sack. Have a good uh, night, Tito. Enjoy the lurk. Very right, little delayed finishing reading that message, but I do appreciate it. Very strong world one. Let's do something with it. But yeah, I would agree. We we definitely all have our strengths and weaknesses. I, like the the bosses thing doesn't surprise me because you definitely have way more uh, like first playthrough experience, and I think that helps right with the reactionary like dealing with stuff on the fly. The frame perfect spin jump. Before the, uh, the I got that note block sections, because I think that's what you were talking about, if I'm not mistaken. If that's the case, it helps you not have to land, but you're tied to the cycle of the ball and chain, right? So even if you landed sooner, on the ball and chain, you're still on this. Are you still in the same cycle? Like the only way you're not is if um, there's a despawn respawn, like delta or something. So in the Floyd run, we absolutely demolished Toxic Normal. I would love to see it happen again. today. I think I've failed that three times like that. Maybe it's only maybe that's only twice. The, the one cycle in general I've had some trouble with. Nice uh nice inputs there. Well there goes uh any semblance of a like amazing start. This is not a fast room. I don't even know how fucking right input got in there, man. I swear my my D pad's like really sensitive today. Okay, I'm gonna
terrible start now. I really don't want to reset. <laughs> Wait, does that... Did that reset my meter? Did you see that? I feel like my health meter got reset. I'm just not, I'm not going to take a blood death. I'm not going to risk it. Even though I got it last time. It's a very hard strat. Gonna be, this is going to be tough. Because th this is about, like, the 108.45, like, that's about my mark for, like, where I want to exit cave, right? And and still consider it to be, like, decent-ish. Obviously, I prefer it to be even faster than that, but we still have a lot of cave right to go. A lot of hard stuff, too. I would say that four hour practice block of um, switcheroo has been extremely beneficial. The meter got reset. Does that mean... Nice. Got the double. Let's go. That's the strap, by the way, Mighty Mouse. I hope you were watching. I forgot to call it out. That's the new strat I came up with today. Definitely faster than traditional. Nearly as fast as the optimal. It's very, very close. Yeah, if you missed it, wait wait till I forget to do it again. No. <laughs> um, now, you don't always get the instant pipe or the double kill. There's two different ways to get the fast pipe, essentially. Kill both at once or kill one at a time, but the second one, you instantly enter the pipe. Let's see if I can get it here. So, so that one, I didn't get the instant pipe. I also choked the pipe in general, um, but ignore that. Even if you don't... Fuck, no double there. Even if you don't get the fast pipe, if you just get a... Okay, very sloppy design. Uh, even if you don't get the fast pipe, you get the two individual kills and then have to land again, like bounce up in the air and then land again. Even in that scenario, it's still faster than intended strat with an up toss um, from the ground where you like do it really early on and watch it like arc into the, the pipe pit. It's still faster by like 0 0.2 seconds. And it's very easy to do. Very, very easy. And you're gonna practice it, yeah. It won't take you long to, to get the, the hang of it. It's it's pretty easy. The only thing is I would say, um, once you get that first spiny kill, which is like guaranteed, just the way things are set up, 
Uh, I would start mashing the right bumper to make a block. While, while also holding down on the D-pad to make sure you like try to get the quick entry into the pipe. So it's not guaranteed, but it happens decent. Decently often. Okay. Back to game and back to game in here. I said we were at 108.44 when we entered Blast Brigade. We only dropped seven seconds between Blast Brigade, like the start of Blast Brigade to the end of Corpus. So actually a very strong cave right outside of the shenanigans of the first half of Toxic. Why was it so far back, dude? I even... I actually know what I think would happen. I actually have a feeling that I didn't get my normal max momentum jump. I have a feeling my... my... have the speed so I didn't get my normal height on that jump and then it just like came up short. That's my current working theory but wow that's uh that's a brutal death. off today on that. Can't seem to get that. So I think we're 0 for 3. I would say our average is more like 40%, roughly. to say fuck that strat, to be honest. The whole purpose, the reason I'm doing that strat is in preparation for 1.1. Cool. Where was the fucking shell speed, dude? Yeah, I'm, I'm, just, I'm probably gonna abandon that. Because the not using the ice at the end of this level is easier and faster. Taking the desk there in preparation. Without, we don't really know what it's gonna look like exactly. It's possible that. Like, our efforts there are not even, like, worthwhile. But. Changing the beat. 
I am definitely misunderstood then, if that's the case. Even more reason to get rid of it then. Because the, the no ice usage at the end of the second half is faster by a small amount. I don't remember the exact number. I don't even know if I have it written down, to be honest. Didn't have the speed I wanted to get the fast. We're lucky we didn't die, to be honest. Love the new update to the wall run. The wall, the wall run section was definitely a nemesis of mine, but now I think we've got it conquered. Beginning of the first part of the second half. But we already use ice. I don't even know what we... Unless... No, I don't really know what... Well, I'll just have to wait till I see it in 1.1, I guess. But yeah, I'll, I'll switch that over to always do the non-ice non ending. get what I wanted, but so, suboptimal Yosh. What a salvage. I do really like that Minnet. I think it's been very successful. No, I'm not dead. Wow. I would have been a bit salty for that. I saved it to get the perfect fast cycle. I mean, we got the cycle, but not the finish, essentially. We got the start of it. Update's been very good at the double saw. Wasted the one cycle saw. The ropes. Pretty good though. It's been a much better peak with the updates. I do like it. Okay. Terrible. Uh, yeah, unnecessary death in Slipknot apparently, and then terrible snow crash as well. Big, big deaths in both of those. Actually, it's only two deaths, but they were both like as big as it can get. If not for that, we would have had a great snow. And we had a great, nearly had a great uh, cave right as well. So despite what the splits kind of look like, I feel like we are kind of playing well today. Just 
good shit. I don't even feel like I was that fast on that B press. Tilted off the face of the planet. This is another one of those levels where I feel like it's more a more enjoyable casual play than it is a speed run. So I don't I don't think I disliked this level on first play. a perfectly enjoyable Although that's a questionable decision making there but no punish. It's not great. It's bad for the best under 23, though. What's up, Yoshi? Haven't seen all the Grand Pro 3, and this is nuts. Well, thank you for the good luck. Hopefully, I can show you some Grand Pro 3. We made it to uh, Bowser. One of the Bowsers. <clears throat> but then, it crashed and burned, unfortunately. We're trying to make our way back. Core clip. Oh, I, I definitely appreciate that. That'll that'll help so much to confirm that it's not because like the ending that I was going for is so it was so hard, dude. I have some visual cues for it, so definitely not impossible. But one of those it's one of those strats that's uh oh oh wow how I never not don't get that wow. A lot of faith in. Yeah. A little bit of a leaf of faith, you know what I'm saying? I don't trust on respawn. Did you fuck ass jump, dude? I'm tilted. Bad death. Twice, twice dying to that. Different ways on the two times, but.
One of those that's that's one of those rooms where it's like either first shot or a billionth shot. Which is annoying. It is on my uh to-do list though, to to kind of patch up some of the setups. Specific like the when, when I get the shell, the red shell initially, the my jump to the first leaf and the second leaf don't necessarily feel great and the setup for getting the like tossing the shell into the koopa also feels questionable and then mostly the i didn't should have re-grabbed that i had it if i just like let myself fast fall Hopefully the uh, play testing. Nice, went well. First time today getting the second chuck. Oh, what counts? Counting to the fuck. I did not commit to the... I gotta get rid of the... Dude, my D-pad is just all sorts of fucked. I'm getting all sorts. Of, okay, I I'm gonna go for the safe. If I if I get back to rope burn, I'm going for the safe. Uh, three jumper. So there's after the two disco shells collide in the second half. The first vertical rope after that, it's four quick jumps with the di the dismount on the fourth quick jump. And then the next vertical rope is also four. You, like, you can do it in four, but you end up so high that you can't do a max jump. You have to do a control jump. And with all the other stuff going on there, trying to go fast, it's uh, very scary. But three is not enough. You can't you can't dismount quickly on three. So then you get into this weird limbo, and you can. So I go back and forth deciding if I want to go like do four, but on the fourth one, it's like dismount on four, but do it as a quick double tap, so that it's really kind of on five. Like the dismount happens on four, but I'm pressing jump five times, but that's like that's confusing. And then it's like, oh okay, well what if I take it safe and I'll do. Three. I'll, I'll do, is it, two, you do two and then wait a moment and then dismount on three. See, like, see how if I take a time, it's like that. That's the the correct optimal, I think. But then, like, that can happen. 
is getting the right timing on when to switch the D-pad. Sorry for that. Thank you for your patience. Just bought a hundred D-pad rubbers and I could send you one. <laughs> I appreciate the thought. I have bought um, rubbers in the past. I don't remember. There, there once upon a time there was a um, a spreadsheet going around with uh, what the desirable companies are for like rubbers, and uh, I feel like I tried two different uh, highly recommended ones from the community. And I just couldn't, I just couldn't use them, man. They were just, they just, they were so stiff. And it takes a long time to, like, wear them into shape. Which, I mean, obviously I play a lot, but I'm also impatient. <laughs> In a sense. I hate having to wait for them to, to get to that feel-good state. Which is why I... Typically, which I haven't actually done this in a while, but I typically get my rubbers by buying old SNES controllers and then harvesting them for parts. Because <laughs> those are the ones that usually have the, the rubbers that I like. So out of context, yeah, you know. <laughs> eh, do be like that. Did I end up answering Mangort? Mangort, we made it to Bowser. Grand Pool 2 Bowser, 118 pace. Sorry for the delayed response there. And we had a chance to one-shot him too. We had we had the final tool in hand. We had throw block in hand. We went for the toss. Got an accidental up input. Which would have still been okay. Except he tossed a shell. Which then killed the throw block as it landed. Which would have been less okay. But still maybe doable. Except that I immediately died thereafter. I don't remember what got me, but... It was a very sad sight to see which is partly why we're talking about the uh the rubbers right now my d-pad's been definitely letting me down today oh my i don't know how we did that oh my god oh my dude what is going on there we 
we go. Yeah, he was a wet boy. Door too. Let's go. Good P switch. Okay, this run is dedicated to Mangor. We had the Floyd run earlier, and it was God tier. Let's see. Let's see what the the Mangort has in store for us tonight. How many different characters can you pick? I don't know the exact answer, actually. Salvage. That was the first time I've had a bad boss fight here. We've had nothing but perfect. Ooh, it's not there. Might still get the 18. Yeah, still got an 18 uh, as the backup. So the ba the backup is pretty strong, but I think that was our first time missing the the full 20. But yeah, plus we were talking about this earlier. Plus fifteen. If we can keep this pace exiting blades, that's a that's a a solid home. Dive once on each exit for this. Okay. Do it that way. That's slower, but. Really like the update to the fish. Haven't messed it up today. Nope. Not taking that. I don't even feel like I there I have a That setup is so consistent too. Like I don't know how. Well, Mangor, your run was ass. <laughs> it was uh, there. There was a lot left to be desired there. Okay, let's think about how many characters there are. There's Barb and Grand Fu Bear, Laser, Panga, Glitch, because those are the ones that I like, I like the best. Amethyst, Juz, Tofu, Carl. I think it's three, three, two, eight. Mario, Peach, Waluigi, Wario. So that's twelve. Tail Sonic, fourteen. Did I miss any? I did them in kind of a weird order, so it's very possible that I missed one or two. I like was kind of clumping them in my brain, but. Yeah, the um, <clears throat> Testudo is the uh, the SMB2 SMB2 U level, and uh, I do like the concept. Um, as a speed run, it is a little slow paced. I I wish the sh the um the blue shell move faster. I think that's probably the big issue there. 
both in the first and the second half. It's the, it's the same thing. Um, but I, I like the um, super jump, essentially. It is a nice throwback there. And we didn't get as far to, uh, to showcase it for you, but um, that other run when it died in rope burn, right? We stopped in rope burn. Uh, we were just a few levels away from... There's actually two more SMB2U references. Um, in Yacht Club Keep. So if you're familiar with Yacht Club Castle from Grand Prix World 2, it's, got the, it's like that water-esque level with the weird physics. That's a full. That's over a second, I think, or close to it. Um, so yeah, Yacht Club Keep is like the reincarnation for that, or the remix of that in Grand Pool Three. And at the end, there's a crab boss that throws rocks. That's got some SMB Two U vibes to it. And then uh, the other one is Brother Bastion, which is a uh, Luigi level. Where he's got the like kind of mega float from SME 2 U. I know Mighty Mouse says he actually really likes uh, the platforming from Brother Bastion. I'm not as big of a fan because it's it's got like ice physics on it. I might have liked it better actually if it was no ice. Maybe that would have been just a straight fix. wasn't looking, but I think my D-pad <laughs> gave out on the right input right there. Half a second. back in a known state, but at what cost, right? Three in-game timer. Okay. okay, not clean. We've been really clean here today, but that one was not. So I, I can't be too upset with how many times we've done a good job in that room. Taking some minor slop there is not unwarranted. lost my... Oh! Uh, okay. For some reason, I thought there was going to be another bit there. Okay, so we lost four in-game timer there. It it all stemmed from an extra... There was an extra bouncer somewhere that messed this my setup up. But we stayed cool, calm, and collected. That's what matters. Uh, 
I took an extra bounce. I was kind of like in between there. I wasn't sure if I could go on four or five that time. It felt like a, almost like it might have been a little too early to go on four, but it was like right there. Come on, Blades. Be kind. Let us get out of hole. Four for four. The toss didn't go off the right. Low left? Not what you like to see. 40 lost there. But I, I mean, yeah, it's, just, it's, it's not good time for exiting home. But we're going to salvage it. Uh, I like to prepare for the fast. But then if I don't hit my benchmarks, I tend to, like, remove one or two hard strats in the middle of a run. Uh, like, I, I opt out of it and play something easier. So this is the kind of perfect scenario where, assuming we get to the second half of Toxic, I normally go for a super fast strat that's very sketchy and hard, and I give it one shot. But when we're but usually we're like at a plus twenty mark, plus anywhere from plus five to plus twenty five probably. So since we have, you know, the time that we would have been okay with losing, we've already lost it, right? So by not going for that fast strat, we are, in essence, saving time against our average scenario, which will allow us to kind of look like it kind of claws us back in. We've kind of, we're like shifting the time losses around to be in our, in our more... To get us back to a more normal state. That's what the best way to describe it, I guess. lost the one cycle, but we didn't die. So 
So it's about four in-game timer, that mistake. So if, if this run ends up dying fairly quickly, someone remind me to investigate the pipes there. Not gonna go for the fast strat. Oh, okay. I cannot believe. Just couldn't get. I mean, because I'm in claw grip, I just couldn't get rid of that. I couldn't get rid of it. I couldn't get rid of the fucking item. I can't remember if I couldn't get rid of it or that just like after getting rid of it, I couldn't get my jump off. Whatever, it's essentially related to the same thing. Item tech and claw grip is uh, not the easiest. Well, there goes. Uh... <laughs> There goes our game plan to claw it back, I guess. I mean, last run we had like a perfect uh, cave right outside of Toxic Tunnel. Ended on a 108.50. So, I mean, we did it once. If we do it again, we'll, we'll kind of be somewhat salvaged, so. Let's go. Fucking good. <laughs> you know it, Ash. You know it. With an execution like that, how can you blame me? Here we go. There we go. That's the instant pipe. The instant pipe when you don't get the uh, the double. If we don't make this, I'm gonna reset. I would imagine we should still be able to make it. I'd be very surprised. If we didn't. Let's see, I can have 10 in game timer. We got one instant pipe. Let's see what happens on second entry. And that's fine.
almost a little too late there. Okay. So yeah, we had a pretty clean cave right post toxic tunnel yet again. I mean, and technically, toxic tunnel's outside of the cave, <laughs> right? So the cave itself was strong. Oh, I appreciate it, man. We made it to Grand Pearl 2 Bowser today. One hit away on from the first attempt. Oh, how did that not touch that, dude? Okay. I think it's safer on that second attempt. First attempt, I go pretty aggressive. It's got a really good setup, but every once in a while, I think it's like three, four. We don't have to worry about the hard ending of Slipknot. <laughs> I've been late like all day today on that. Not where I think it is. Picture what Mighty Mouse was talking about how he would do it in the first half. <laughs> Ash has got it right. <laughs> you only get one try at that. It's definitely on a case by case basis. Cat, thank you for the raid. Welcome in. Hope your stream was good. Sorry for the no alerts. My stream labs is broken. <laughs> I don't know why. Got broke on Wednesday and hasn't recovered. I 
just doing the old grindy grind over here. I'm dead. Nah, yeah, okay. We'll go, we'll go for the easier version of that next. Give myself one crack and I'm fast. We did some timing earlier today. Yeah, the fast strat that we go for with the um, spark, big sparky and the blue bubble respawn. Apparently it saves like a quarter, uh, 0.4 seconds. Over um, a, a solid uh, strat idea from uh, Mighty Mouse with a, a small camera manip with a double bounce on the, on the big sparky. Trying to save the point four apparently, but it, it's it's harder than it looks. <laughs> I think. Um, played Lufia two, Ancient Cave, and then some uh, Ultra Kaiser World two shenanigans. Nice. Got a book in the mail today that would be of interest to you. Speed Run Science. <laughs> I love it. Let's go. <laughs> who, who is the uh, who's the author? Oh my, I can't believe I didn't, I completely messed up all my cues. Oh, and I'm too low, I'm not gonna get the one cycle. Oh, gosh darn, okay. Sloppy as fuck, but somehow we didn't die. And given the scenario there, I'll take it. Now we have an update. Post halfway. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay. Dude, this update has been so fucking hot. We have not missed the the one cycle chuck. The quick cycle. Nice. I'm dead. Oh my god. That was ill advised. I messed up the setup, and I gunned it, and we didn't get punished somehow. Eric Kozeel. I'm gonna have to check this shit out. That was a split that we failed to split on um, at some point in time, so it's finally going to be... Well, not this one, though. Thank you, video game. I didn't want that throw block, apparently. What are you uh, hoping to get out of the book? Is it does it give you like pointers or something on how to speed run, or, or is this a different kind of speed run? Oh my god! Woo! Get me in there.
Yo, I like where your head's at. That's a good point. I also do think that that book would probably be pretty interesting. I'm, I'm definitely not much of a reader, but if there was something outside of like Harry Potter, <laughs> I guess, I mean, speedrun science sounds right up my alley. Um, oh, no. Okay, okay. It's been a bad day of 6M boss. Um, we had a 123 first orb, and we had a 109 first orb. So definitely not good. I don't think we can really do anything about it, but on the bright side, I feel like it means if we're due. It's that what, 101 right here. I committed because I thought that was greedy as fuck. Should have known. But it was going to give me a 107. Best split time is some at some point in time, some run that is not necessarily my PB run. There was some run that exited. Yeah, it's going to be better to do it on the travel. There was some run that finished this travel segment at, at 28.22. Right? So that's what that best split time segment is going to show. Is like the delta from the previous best run. So like the run that got the 28-22 exiting travel versus the run that got the um, whatever time was for exiting Hagakure 1. Like that's what that best split time is. Had a feeling that it was going to be a piece of shit there, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, cool. Can I get this fuck ass shell out of my hand? I almost want to learn this in fucking claw grip. Because I have to. I, Normally, item tech is easier in standard grip. But when I... The, the platforming portion of this, I think, is going to be easier in claw. Okay, we failed. Oh, saved it, though. Oh my god. Yeah. Don't worry, this is on the practice list. It is on the like the investigation list, I should say. There are definitely some changes that I need to do for that room. When it works, it's gorgeous though. Like I do really enjoy playing Hagakure. It's definitely one of my uh, more favorite levels. I don't know exactly where it ranks currently. My list. It's definitely up there, though. But it also is frustrating because it's like it's just my setups are not quite right. There's they haven't really been tweaked since I did the science, I think. Or if if they have been tweaked, it's been very minimally. So they need a they need a they need some TLC right there. Yeah, not yet. It's on the list, though. It's on the list. I've been spending a lot of time lately on uh, ugh, okay. uh, snow and cave right. Because I, I kind of mentally like thought about every level and then wrote down the parts that I, I know I need to work on. And I'm kind of just going through them in order of the route. So my next current big investigation is going to be 6M. Oh, damn. That was, like, really fucking clean on that bounce. More clean than normal. But I didn't get the second one, so... Yeah, after 6M, we got uh, forest action. So we're going to take the second rope safe. 
Didn't mean that safe. Should've done one more. Oh, Lord. She's not into SMW? Uh, can I can I interest you in this giant pinata? <laughs> That'll brighten her day, right? but it worked. Don't trust the one cycle here. On the oh my god. Oh, get me out of here. That was sketch and a half. Fast P. Thank God. Get me out. Damn, dude, those are some sketchy fireballs. Jump, get the fuck out of here. God damn, we had been doing such a good job, man. For, like, there was, there was a, a stretch where we were just crushing that ending, but now, lately, I, I feel like the last... I don't know the exact count, but... It does feel like a lot that I'm messing it up now. It's a hard strat, though. I was, like, I was surprised that we were ever getting as consistent as we were. Oh. oh, oh my god, get me out. Okay, I totally messed that up, but could have been way in the green, too. Damn, we had 50 seconds to save. Big death. Oh, my God. 
19 to save, lost 8. That's about right. Okay, let's do it right here. Still a really solid pace right now. This is trash. It's in the middle, it's not anywhere where I want it to be. Okay. Made it work. Definitely not good though, but... I had so many chances to like really clutch that out too. I had some good tennis ball dodges, like weaving through while getting him, but... A really good sign that we got we had two fantastic paces today This is going to be uh, the last run for the night. I don't think I'll be able to... <laughs> get enough energy to do another. After this one succeeds or fails. I do, I do. So right now it is 219. Tired. Let me to look at that shell spit. I feel like I'm not doing it optimally anymore. I'm not optimally is for it. Like see, that's like kind of kind of a weak nine. Like we should be able to get a very very high nine, uh, if not a low ten, fairly consistently. The only thing that would be slow down is the yellow shell section and the shell spit. There after kind of, if I do that extra wiggle, my visual cue. I don't get to use my visual cues for the the instant or the straight to the pipe. So it's probably best to just finish it like casually instead of trying to risk it.
That's too low. Couldn't use the helper block. Sp I spit it out too early. Yeah, hey, what's up, beer? Welcome to the final run. We're doing some things. Yo, thanks, Oku. Thank you for the good luck. You are gaming a slight amount right now, and you'll love to see it. I also like this time. Look at my best possible time before it stops. One, one, two, three, four, five, one. That's kind of a cool number right there. Okay. That was an unexpected way to... Oh, that was almost a disaster. Okay, get me out of here. It's crazy. Yacht Club Castle was like so consistent. Or like, I mean, this is technically, except for this guy, I guess. Um, it's technically consistent, but it's just so much harder to. This iteration, this remix. He is such a fuck ass fucker, dude. When I made the switch on the strat, uh, early on it was actually doing really well. Nope. Oh my god, I actually had it. I did not think that that execution was going to grant me the fucking strat of all times to get it. That just did not seem like it was going to be the one. So I didn't commit, of course. There we go. The Anki app? Never heard of it. Flash card person when I was uh, in school. The best craft killer. I'll take that title. I'll wear that uh, title with pride. Okay. We've had two pretty good idle hands today. Can we. greet out a third? I'm dead. No, I'm not dead. I cannot believe I got over the top of that.
whiffed on the key. Okay, well, that's bad. go out on a limb and say this is a fucking bad execution by me. I'm gonna go out on a limb. I know it's crazy. crash into the wall. We backed it up pretty well. I messed up the Manip, uh, so we didn't get to do... I mean, 367 without a Manip is actually very strong still, so... Can't be too upset.
We had a, a near perfect manip last time. Got a 378. It made it work. Slight time loss, but not much. After messing up, I didn't trust that I'd be able to get what I wanted for the fast pipe exit. So I just said, fuck it, we'll just do it the intended way and wait for the P-switch to, to run out. So, not, not perfect, but... Okay, we did crush this. We've actually been doing a nice job here in Coastal with the, the new updates, but it's still scary. We're going to skip the halfway, so... Disco to be different. <sighs> I always go for a one cycle on the rock, but I was late. So I was trying to say, okay, I'll do a two cycle then. Did not factor that in though. there. Holy shit, I got the wrong side of the disco, dude. Maximize our time loss. Let's just do that real quick. But this is. That's a free part. Come on, man. Two deaths of the fucking disco, dude. I'm gonna go for the. We're, we're gonna. We're not gonna go for the fast bat. We're gonna go for the semi fast. I know I failed the semi fast twice last run. So you would think, like, oh, is it really. You know. You're still doing something hard. I, I trust my consistency way more with the semi-fast. And it only loses... I want to say it's in like a third of a second or something. I don't know exactly, but... It's definitely close enough. 
that after that those huge time losses, we're gonna avoid the super duper tough strat. Going to do I go for the fast pipe? God, I really shouldn't. The update is pretty strong though, but yeah. I would say it's probably 65-70% in my favor going for the fast pipe now. some trouble at that part lately. I need to reinvestigate it. It feels like weird in my hands. Do I go for the double key? I didn't go for the double key jump last run. Which kind of makes me want to go for it this run. Am I trusting? Am I trusting my, my keys?
whole razor thin margins on that spike. That spike's a lot scarier than it looks, by the way. Holy shit. Okay, we got what we wanted. We the, the fishing beer room was trash by me, but uh did everything else correct. one of the most consistent, yeah. It's nice that we get to know the RNG. It would be, like, super consistent if I was not going for as crazy of strats as I am in Tower of Fate. Like, it's very... For me, it's very... I'm sure it's spooked for everyone to some degree, but I, I do feel extra spooked. <laughs> the fish... The double fishing beer room would normally be a free room, but I go for, like, an aggressive spring that can easily get me killed. Obviously, the double key jump in the rotating platform room. The uh, green bean strat is actually very consistent. I, I do like that a lot. Very fast, very consistent. Highly recommend. The um, double shell jump air room, where we skip one of the shell jumps. That It is the faster strat, and I do think it's easier to execute, but it's still awkward. I wouldn't necessarily call it free. I have like a decent visual on it though. Okay. Yeah, we're, we've made it back. We've come pretty far. Second time into the lava today. Oh my god. Nice. That's good. There's a slightly faster way to do the P switch part, which I scienced out, but I haven't been using it. Because I need, I need some, to do some work on it. Please give me this, though. Okay, we'll take one crack. Not going fast. Focus. Nice. Let's fucking go. We failed to get the split last time we were here, by the way. That's why we were green just now. 10 and 11. I think we weren't able to get the splits off. Please? That might not work. Oh, thank God. I mean, we're still doing good, though. This is, this is a good spot to be. Second time today. Into the, the gate. In this category, that's all you can really ask for. Get chances at Bowser. Oh god, 
Yes, we need that. Oh my god! I fucked that so hard. I don't know how we survived. Oh, get me out. That was terrifying. I'm usually pretty good at those thwomps, but... Classic. That is an absolute classic. Okay. We do not want to save ammo on this first phase because he's going to go straight into spin after wall. What? How was I that slow? Okay. Just, no. That was terrible. Every, everything there was incorrect. I wasn't sure if those would despawn. Ho, ho, ho! Oh my god, dude. Get me out of that. I, I, my heart definitely... When I saw that last hit going through, I was like, oh my god, what the fuck's gonna happen with these hammers? <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, get me out, man. My heart can't take that. Fucking ridiculous. That's too low for the fast. Very slow and safe, unfortunately. God, dude.
Oh, come on, man. Let this be the run. cycle. Uh oh. Okay. Hi. Okay. We're not going to go for the fast ending now. I've already lost too much here. Pushed again, dude. <sighs> so, no fast ending. <sighs> it's too much of a shit show already. We had death at the saw, death at the mushroom, and death at. The disco. See, so we had 30 to save and we lost 30. So we lost a full minute there, but we can still do things. We can still do things. Let's go. Didn't get the D, unfortunate. That was fucking clean. That was a clean music. It's a little scuffed on the portrait, but... Hey, yo, thank you, Yuri. Yeah, we were about three in game timer slow on that puzzle, the portrait puzzle, but it wasn't terrible. I love that we get to do a double grab. Okay, it ain't over yet, though. We're doing good, but it ain't over yet. I've definitely lost world record in Bowser, so it would not be a first. And I still have to make it to Bowser too. We're not it's not uh, a guarantee. thumb slipped or something I should have a, I should have had way more height Thank <laughs> you. 
to, I'm taking that very safe. I still need to investigate for the, there's definitely way better ways to do it than what I do, but it's fine. Focus. Clean. Really cool strats in that room, by the way. Okay. <sighs> Send me that energy, my friend. Send me that energy. So tempted to actually let myself die here. Zero helper bombs. Classic. That was a bad decision by me, 100%. Just hold it. Literally just hold it and see which direction he goes. In, I, was, I had a moment of hesitation, and that's all it took. That was a minute and a half, by the way. Really, really fun fight. Can you... How is it not... The up toss is supposed to work for that, dude. That's... We'll get him next time. Take it easy.